There was a Pokemon in our room. Carding. What's your victory dance? <laughs> Cut this one. Oh look, it's 112. I think that's more than the one that I have already. So, I am just editing yesterday's vlog and getting ready to upload that and stuff. And every day so far in our vlogs, I was like, we're gonna go Pokemon hunting. Let's go Pokemon hunting. Guess who hasn't gone Pokemon hunting? Yes. <laughs> so I'm like... It. For the transfer, you have to click on it and then click that. That's weird. Interesting. But yeah, I've, I do want to go Pokemon hunting, I'm being legit real, but I don't know, I'm just like, I feel like I shouldn't um, bring it up anymore, because every time I go back to edit, I'm like, we're, g we're probably going to go Pokemon hunting today, and we don't. <laughs> you want to see my Pokemon now? Oh yeah, let's see Tyler's Pokemon, since you saw mine yesterday. Did you do it by CP? CP. Okay. Just... There's a little Pokemon. Oh, wait, I didn't see the bottom row. Oh. I'll see your eggs. You got any eggs in the incubator? Two. Oh, eggs. No, you can only use the blue one after they're done. Yeah. Do you like Pokemon Go? Yeah, I don't play it as much as I should. <laughs> as you should. I'm only level 9. Mm -hmm. But I have Pokeballs. Run out of Pokeballs. Like I have 129 Pokeballs. Oh my Pokeballs. gosh, I wish you could just transfer Pokeballs to me. Wouldn't that be so cool? So I wouldn't have to go to a Pokestop all the time. Our town isn't really that good for Pokestop, or this side of town anyway. Yeah. We went downtown one time and walked, mm -hmm. and there were a bunch down there. And we have a community college, and there's like a whole bunch on campus, so that's pretty cool for the college kids. So we're at Sonic and we got a buy one Sonic cheeseburger, get one for free. So we got those and some large cheese tots, Route 44, sweet tea, and lemonade. Me too. There's so many cars here, I hope it doesn't take long. We got our cheese tots and our burgers and our Route 44s. Are you excited? Mm-hmm. Why? Because I'm hungry and <laughs> thirsty. I wonder if there's anybody that is going to watch our vlogs and be like, what is Sonic? Sonic is simply the best, in my opinion, burger place in Oklahoma, fast food wise. Um, you think so? Yeah. That and Brahms. A lot of people say Whataburger is the best and stuff, but we like Sonic better. <laughs> yeah. So, we're gonna dig into this real quick. So, I've been waiting on the mailman because the... Oh, we're supposed to be getting a package for the new Harry Potter book that we ordered. And I saw him just walk by the window. And we went and checked the mail, but there was no package. And it said it's supposed to be delivered today. So I don't know if he's gonna like deliver all the mail and it's like just in his little cart or what, or if it's just not coming today. But if it doesn't come today, I'm kind of boned because I thought it was going to come today. I'm in some food comas right now. <laughs> but hopefully uh, he's just delivering all his mail and then he'll bring it last or something. But I'm watching Wild and Out. They got a new season coming on tonight. So I'm probably going to watch that tonight. The game's kind of sleepy too. And we forgot to tell you guys that it's our four year anniversary today and that's why we were supposed to go on a date but we're doing it tomorrow instead. 
but that's what our date is. I'm kind of glad because I got a headache and I would be very ticked off if I was driving and had this headache. Mm -hmm. What are we going to do now? I guess take a nap. We'll wait for the mailman to pass by just in case your conspiracy theory that he has it in his car. He did that before when he was delivering Okay. You a package, well, remember? Because we we're about to leave, and he pulled in oh, yeah, like our driveway that. or parked well, in front we'll of our driveway. We'll see if he'll do that again. And if he doesn't, I guess we'll just lay down. I'm just watching people's vlogs. Oh yeah, we're we're part of a group on Facebook, the CTFXC, and what's it called? 18 and up group. Yeah, 18 and up group for. Charles Trippy's vlogs, but we shared our first vlog for Vlogist on there. So if anybody is on there, or if you came from there, yeah, if you came from there, peace. <laughs> <laughs> I would say comment in the comments, but I only have seven subscribers. But you know, like even on my channel, I have a hundred. Seven subscribers like I don't know I still cherish each and every person that subscribed like I don't know I like go and look at who subscribed and like I can remember their names so when another person subscribes to me I'll be like okay let me go look at that and then I'll see it's a new name and like I kind of remember the people that subscribed to these names so I don't know, I think it's cool. yeah. yeah but I feel like <laughs> Like half of, like four of those are people I already know, like my family. Yeah. <laughs> but we have some that are random people, which is pretty cool. But we are doing it for, like, we are doing vlogs for us to, like, remember these moments and whatever. But it's cool to see random people watching. Like this past week on my channel, I've been getting new subscribers and people that will comment on my videos and they'll like write a fairly large like sentence and stuff and we'll talk and it's pretty cool to talk to new people. Hair's kind of long, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty wavy today. But no Harry Potter right now. So we're probably going to relax and get over these food comas. Be back later. We woke up from our naps fully alive. <laughs> Much needed nappage. <clears throat> You nap longer than me though. What can I say? But we're waiting on dinner to be done. And the new while and out is about to be on. So that's probably what we're gonna watch. When we have our dinner. It's your duck. Get that duck. Get that duck. So it is the end of day four now and the end of the anniversary day and Tyler's curled up <laughs> like a cocoon oh. but I thought it'd be fun to share how we started dating and how we met so take it away Tyler <laughs> okay I met Tyler when I was my sophomore year yeah it was it was my sophomore year um I met Tyler the summer before my soph sophomore year in high school and it was at a camp for adults with neuromuscular diseases and he was a camper there and I started that in 2010 and we just met then but we, we didn't really talk or anything but then 2011 around our birthday uh -huh. yeah our birthday is two years and two days apart but his comes before mine so I saw that it was his birthday and I was like, oh my gosh, my birthday is in like two days from now. And we pretty much started talking like every day since then. Uh -huh. So that in the whole year from like May 2011 until he asked me to be his girlfriend, we were like best friends like the whole year. And I would come up here and visit him and we would exchange Christmas presents and stuff 
and we would just hang out and whatever. And then we had camp the year of 2012 and I did two camps at the time. So I went to the second camp right after our camp and I didn't talk to him for a whole week because we couldn't have phones. And now we'll just leave it off to Tyler because everything was him after that. So I was bored the whole entire week. I didn't it made me miss you a lot. Fast forward to the day I came home slash got my phone. Uh, you were super tired. Mm -hmm. Didn't y'all go visit? Yeah, we visited family like right after I got out of camp. Then you were texting, or you were kind of texting me on the way home. Then you got home, then you like went to bed, but you called me. Remember you had to go get your charger out of the car? Mm hmm Yeah, it was like nighttime, and I had to get my phone charger out of the car. But I lived in a kind of sketchy neighborhood, so I wanted it to be documented if I like disappeared or something. <laughs> then you came back in. We talked for like, like an hour or two. You were half asleep. I don't even think I intended on asking, but it just happened. <laughs> oh, you don't want to be my I friend. did, but like, <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be right then. Because you were sleepy anyways. I remember asking you and you, I don't remember what I said. I said something. I don't remember how I asked it, because it was weird how I asked it. Because mm -hmm. I remember going... And saying, do you know what I'm talking about? And you were like, uh-huh. I was like, do you know what that means? Yeah, I think. <laughs> I don't remember what you said, though, exactly. And mind you, I kind of don't really know what happened. Because I was um, two weeks of exhaustion. And after our camp, I had a family member pass away. So that's why we went and visited family. So I was like super out of it. <laughs> Not that my feelings weren't true, but I just kind of don't remember a lot of what happened. I don't remember the exact details either because I was a nervous wreck. Hmm. What was going through your mind? They didn't know what I was talking about. <laughs> or you didn't realize I asked, or what I asked, or that you were like, oh yeah, sure. <laughs> Whatever, buddy. Did you, did you text me? Yeah, I did, because I think I woke up first. I think I just woke up before you, that's what had happened. But I guess you remembered, because <laughs> you texted, you said, hey, boyfriend. <laughs> and I said, hey, girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> or you're like, it was real. More than likely, I probably forgot while I was sleeping, too. Would you do it over? <laughs> no. Because I'd probably pee my pants. <laughs> you were just a nervous little boy back then. That's the story. <laughs> do you still like me? Yeah. Are we going to do fun things tomorrow? Like what? Go to the bar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> totally. But I also wanted to talk about, since it is our four-year dating anniversary, and... Well, I guess like around here, it's less common for people to date for a long period of time, you know? Usually people date for like a year or two and then they get engaged and married, or they date a year or two and then they just go their separate ways. But since Tyler is disabled and he has a disability and whatever, if we were to get married, he would lose all that. So that's pretty much the only thing that's holding us back, and that's why he's going to go to school and get a big boy job and hopefully in the future he will make more than what he could get on disability anyways so he could start his own future and then we would be allowed to be and then we would be allowed to get married i feel like i don't want him to marry you like after a year and a half probably <laughs> so cute what <laughs> hmm. what <laughs> Yeah, I want to marry you too. Hmm. Hmm. People are probably gonna think that's gross. <laughs> <laughs> yes, tomorrow we're gonna have fun because we're actually going to go to the movie <laughs> and possibly some shopping.
maybe. And Tyler's anniversary present, the Harry Potter book, will be here, so. If they don't lie again. <laughs> it's a big conspiracy, guys. So I think from here, we're going to say goodnight, and we'll see you tomorrow. Peace. <laughs> Bye, guys.